Kim and Zhang just over the moon. <sighs> My anxiety is going down right now, but I feel good. I feel pretty good. I'm excited. So, we're under just about an hour away, and I can't wait to see you walk down that aisle. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to some sleep after the night because I've had about eight hours of the last two nights, but it was well worth it to see you. Can't wait to see you all dressed up. Hanging out here with my groomsmen, they got me all dressed up, ready to go, spiffy clean, and just waiting for you to walk down the aisle. See you soon. Love you. I'd like to ask everyone here today, bear witness as Stacy and Timmons recite their special vows that they have each prepared for the other. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered here today because Timmons and I swiped right. It didn't take me long, neither. It didn't take me long, neither was it hard for me to fall in love with you because you're so easy to please and very understanding. Timmons, you're my forever, my dream come true, my shoulder to lean on, my best friend, partner in crime, and my everything. I love you because of your selflessness, compassion, empathy, and willingness to drop everything that you're doing to make sure that I'm safe, comfortable, and happy. You support me with life challenges. I promise to at least let me use the fan even though I complain I'm cold all the time to turn the AC off. Also, I promise not to take the covers at night on the covers at night. And to not accuse you of leaving air in the towel when obviously you have none. <laughs> okay. And I promise to listen to your advice even though I occasionally take them. Being with you, I've learned to be more patient, slow to speak, and quick to listen. I vow to fill your heart and your life with so much love and respect, to overcome hard times together, laugh together, and annoy each other. I vow to listen, speak lovingly, care for you, pray with you, to honor and cherish you as my husband, to support your dreams, I'm proud to be your wife and cannot wait to discover what is next in our lives and thrilled that, we're, that our everyday will be together on this adventure. Timmons, I will love you through sickness and in health as long as we both shall live until death do us part. My dear Stacey Ann, here we are gathered surrounded by God, family, friends, and co-workers. The sun smiles on us today, our wedding day, and how can it not? With our hearts beating together as one, our love warms the world. I know you have asked me when I knew you were the one, and jokingly, well, it was easy. It was the night we were in bed and you were scrolling through channels and stopped when Tombstone was on. But seriously, I knew the first date at Bahama Breeze that there was something special about you. Stacy, you're so easy to love and please. We compliment each other, and you always go along with my craziness. Stacy, you have taught me that two people joined together with respect, trust, and open communications can be farther, can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You are the strength I didn't know I needed, and the joy that I didn't know I lacked. Today, I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. I can promise you that I will always respect, cherish protect and care for you and love you unconditionally through good times and bad you have made me the happiest man in the world you have become my lover my companion and my best friend and there's no one else i want to build a life with stacy is a very jovial person and stacy loves to party she likes to, to, to hang out you see her fashion your type of dressing and everything right when she meets him and just say, whoa, you meet a nice little, nice little man, you know, that can go out with you because Timmons like to drink. <laughs> you know, I know the little, the little about him. I, I think he loves the Jamaican food. Always come to my house and we hang out around the back. 
Since he's a nice sister, sometimes, you know, you have that sister sometimes want to be in her shell. You know, in, in every family, you have a little person that sometimes want that quiet time for themselves, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Timmons Tomlin. What I say about my sister, she's loving. Huh? And that's my little daughter, Nicole. She likes to take her out with her. So that's why she's her flower girl. <laughs> Whenever I'm going out of town, Stacy would always keep Nicole. I can call upon Stacy to do anything for me as a sister. Both of us live here. So I can call upon her um, to play any part in my life when it comes to the children. Even if I'm not feeling well, um, Stacy is here to comfort me. So I'm just happy for my sister. She's a beautiful bride today, right? Everybody agree? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that she would cry, but you know, my little one and myself was crying tears of joy. We are so excited. And Mr. Timmons, we love you. We welcome you. You know, and in everything, um, put God first because in everything, there's a little ups and downs. So, you know, you have to try to be there for each other. So, my sister, I'm really happy for you. I love you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your life with Mr. Timmons forever. First, I would like to say congratulations to Mr. Timmons and my Auntie Stacy. I am happy for you. I cry for you. I love you. Um, ever since my Auntie met Timmons, she's been the happiest person. She's over overwhelmed with joy and I welcome you, my family. You're a great man, and I hope you treat my auntie with a lot of, you know, good life, long life, no success. Timons is a learner, he's always trying to talk Jamaican. I'm, I'm, my accent is very strong. Sometimes we like, that time I talk English. I'm like, Timons, I can't. But, yeah, you know, I'm happy for them, you should too. They are a great couple and, you know, regardless of the circumstances, everybody deserves love and love doesn't mean, doesn't have a color, doesn't have a language. It doesn't mean, it's just happiness and joy. I think everybody should be happy for them. Again, I am the best niece and I am the, I am the, I am the, uh, the advisor, you know. I, I told auntie to slap the swipe right, so I'm the girl. <laughs> Uh, you know. A lot of people didn't know that the rings we used today was my mom and dad's rings. Uh, my dad's been gone almost six years. They were married for 47 years, so we used their wedding rings to take our vows. And so it's the day was a little bittersweet. We're coming up on the anniversary of my brother's death. He's been gone about uh, 12 years. Ten. Ten. My dad's been gone six years, and um, just happy that my mom and my aunt could join us from South Georgia. And again, we have plenty of food. Plenty of everything, plenty of drinks. If you go, I promise you, Jamaicans will not, you're not going to leave. You're not going to leave hungry. So, 
Again, thank y'all so much from the bottom of our heart for making this a special day for all of us. And we're going to cut the cake and maybe raise some of y'all's Thank you all for my extended family, Timmons, co-workers, friends, or my family, my friends, co-workers. Thank you to Nicole, Courtney, Jordan, Marsha, Will, Matt, and Ashley. Thank you all. Okay. Thank y'all so much. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless this couple as they give themselves to one another in this holy bond of marriage. Guide them with patience and love, lighting their path brightly as they walk together in your spirit. Bless this union with a love that is pristine and pure and a desire to live in faith that is as strong as your own. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Father, bless this marriage and bestow your spirits in the heart of Timmons and Stacy. Let the divine light illuminate their path as they build a joyous life built on profound love, compassion, devotion, and your eternal wisdom. It is written in Genesis that a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And so it is today with these two. Let Stacy and Timmons be a comfort to each other. Bless them with patience so they may always find strength and endurance to fulfill the promises they have made here before you and all of us. Amen. Stacy, Timmons, having witnessed your marriage vows in the eyes of God and before all who are gathered here today, by the authority invested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Timmons, you may finally kiss your bride. So this is my um, bridal party, my mom, my sister, and my nieces, and I'm so excited. And my wedding coordinator, Nicole, is here as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce you for the first time to Mr. and Mrs. Tomlin. <laughs> 